Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days as we have seen over the past few videos it is going to be turning incredibly hot as we head into the weekend and start of next week now we have seen a few changes today both in terms of the longevity and intensity of the heat it does look like we'll actually now be seeing an official heat wave i did say earlier that it's going to be a spike of heat and it was uncertain how long it would last from the looks of the latest runs we are likely now to see three days exceeding those heat wave thresholds so it can officially be classed as a potential heat wave of course has to happen first as we are likely to see temperatures getting towards the high 20s maybe touching 30 degrees on sunday the temperatures peaking on monday with temperatures into the mid 30s and then temperatures lowering again on tuesday back towards the low 30s or high 20s still a bit too far away to put exact figures on especially monday and tuesday but those are kind of the rough numbers we are looking at we are going to see rain over the next few days it's going to be generally around average before it slowly heads on an upwards trend throughout the next couple of days before that heat really arrives sunday through to monday now as we head into the longer range unfortunately if you do enjoy the heat it doesn't look like we're going to go back to average or even below average temperatures and a lot more precipitation as we do start to see a westerly flow so this really isn't a pattern change or anything it is just a blip in the pattern kind of a perfect storm where we're getting southerly winds encompassing a very hot air mass sat across spain uh, and that is why we're going to be seeing this pattern as we head into the early part of next working week so do remember if you enjoy the videos which you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the links in the description now today it's been a very average day really we've seen quite a bit of rain it's not been constant but we have seen quite a few areas with on and off rain during the day and temperatures have been pretty cool around the high teens maybe touching the low 20s at best now we're getting recording this in the evening around 10 p.m you can see the temperatures this evening aren't terrible but they're not particularly warm either average to slightly below average today but as i said upwards trend mid 20s through friday higher 20s in towards saturday touching 30 degrees by sunday and then of course the big numbers on monday now do go over to the latest ukv and see what that has in store first on the precipitation and then we'll have a look at those temperatures do you see the rain heading through earlier this afternoon and evening eventually petering away overnight and as we head into friday not too bad of a day showers in the north and west but further southwards sunnier conditions and this will allow those temperatures to rise as we head into Saturday, again a bit of rain around at times, but still generally warm. And during the afternoon, the sun will come out and we could again see those mid to high 20s. Into Sunday, we start to see the hot air arriving and this allows those temperatures to rise further. Now, over the past couple of days, we only expected it to get towards the mid 20s as we thought the hottest air will arrive later on in the evening. It has come forward a little bit on the latest run, which means that the afternoon will have that very hot air in place or hotter air than we initially anticipated. So those temperatures do look a good few degrees higher today again it, it shifted in the past 24 hours it could shift again so don't take this as gospel again by kind of tomorrow's video maybe saturday we'll have a definitive answer um but of course the closer we get to the time the less those sh uh, the shifts will be smaller of course but you can see as we head into monday another pretty brown dry day in the south and the east but lots of heavy thundery rain in the north and that's because we are seeing Low pressure trying to push back in, but it doesn't have much success on Monday. It doesn't have much success on Tuesday at this stage, at least in the east, before it does push in by Wednesday. The best way to look at this is at the upper air temperatures. You can see for Saturday, warm air is pushing in, getting towards average or slightly above average by the afternoon. As we head into Sunday, it starts to get significantly above average. Look at that very hot air to the south. And then look at Monday uh, morning through to the afternoon intense heat arriving low 20s uh, the upper air temperature level which is a ridiculous number again due to our generally warming climate it, we have seen these sort of upper air temperatures a lot more often in the past few years but this sort of air mass was kind of a once in a decade event back in the 70s 80s 90s only really the last sort of five to ten years has this become more of a regular occurrence we've seen this every year or two um and it's an insanely hot air mass would 
20 years ago, be pushing our temperature, all-time temperature record if we saw this sustain itself. But of course, our all-time temperature record is now above 40 degrees. So unlikely to reach that, as we have alluded to in the past few videos, because this air isn't sticking around. It's moving through quite quickly in around 12 or 18 hours. It, it kind of swift, uh, swiftly moves through. And you can see by Tuesday, the hottest air is gone, but still above average air is there. And we could still see temperatures up towards the 30 degree range, because of course there is residual heat at the surface, and it isn't particularly cold. It is still warm at the upper air temperature level. If you look at the max temperatures, you can see as we head into Friday, temperatures will rise further, uh, much further than they have done earlier today, low to mid 20s. Into Saturday, it does nudge slightly higher in some places, but still low to mid 20s for most. And then Sunday, temperatures really start to jump. And you can start to see those temperatures into the high 20s. Wouldn't be surprised to see 29 or 30 degrees. Now, of course, 28 degrees for London is the official uh, heat wave threshold. Other areas, it's slightly lower. So that's why I said Sunday does look like we will get towards those thresholds. And then the big day on Monday, by midday, temperatures widely low 30s, and into the afternoon, low to mid 30s. You can see that real dark red area has shifted eastwards today, and that's because of the slight timing change in the air mass. And again, as we alluded to with the Sunday temperatures, it could shift. We could see slightly different timings, so we will have to wait and see exactly what happens with this. But we are looking still at low to mid 30s. Uh, definitely looks like 33 degrees will be hit 34 probably and there's a smaller chance but still a decent chance we get to 35 uh, and then if the stars align could see perhaps a 36 but i think that is quite slim because this is a very transient air mass it is coming and going in a very short space of time 36 plus degrees is looking almost definitive across the channel towards northern france where this air mass hangs around for a little bit longer and then finally into Tuesday, temperatures still pretty hot, high 20s or touching 30 degrees, even a 31 down there towards Kent. So again, still hitting heat rate thresholds, but I do expect by Wednesday temperatures to be mid to low 20s at best as the westerly winds do push back in. Now if you do just have a look at, a look at the longer range, I know most people will be interested in that heat next week, but it's good to touch on that longer range at the end of the video. You can see that we do see that southerly push through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Looks quite a messy picture on the pressure patterns, but all that really matters for us is we're under a brief ridge of high pressure, and we've got intense heat arriving from the southeast. And then we go into a westerly flow. Temperatures might go much fresher for Wednesday. Look at that. Lots of yellows, which is below average for the time of year. And then generally, we just see lots of average westerly winds with some high pressure, some lower pressure. So days of warmth and dry conditions, but days of wetter and cooler conditions like we've just seen today or as uh, through Thursday. So, yeah, not great in the longer term for anything in terms of heat and dry conditions. Um, so, yeah, quite a big contrast to what we're going to see through the weekend and start of next week. Now, do look at the latest GM. Again, a westerly flow coming in over the coming days with a southerly push through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And then the westerly flow returns and dominates all the way to day 10, keeping us pretty unsettled and fresh. If you finally compare to the ECM at WF, again, the westerly flow continues, southerly air pushes in, and then we do see the westerly flow continue to dominate through the middle part of the month. So pretty strong consensus. After the heat spike early next week, we'll return back to average or below average temperatures and quite a bit of rain with low pressure moving in. Of course, best conditions will be in the south, closer to European high pressure systems, but still would look pretty unsettled for all. And we can see that by looking at the latest ensembles. Massive heat spike here as we head into early next week. Around 10 to maybe as high as 15 degrees above average in terms of the upper air temperature levels. But really that hot air only arriving, for, uh, sorry, only lasting for around 12 to 24 hours before we dip back down towards average by Wednesday. And then we stay kind of below average for the end of the week into the weekend with quite a lot of precipitation. So going from very hot summer-like conditions towards more autumnal conditions, cooler and wetter. The upper air temperatures aren't looking particularly great as well. Uh, Mid-single digits, which is not great for the time of year. Again, still could reach 20 degrees just because of the strength of the sun and the length of the days, but it wouldn't feel all too warm with that fresher wind and quite a bit of rain moving in. And finally, if we compare to the ECMWF ensembles, it is looking 
broadly similar. Uh, you can see for the upper air temperatures, peaking around the 20 degree mark and then dropping back towards average, maybe slightly below average again with reasonably high precipitation. So pretty strong consensus there uh, between the GFS and the ECMWF. So yeah, big heat coming over the coming days. It is a crescendo through the next sort of three or four days before it peaks on Monday. Could be pretty intense indeed on Monday. Still hot on Sunday and Tuesday, but just nowhere near as oppressive. It is going to be the hottest day of the year. It's going to be a lot, oppressive, a lot more oppressive than anything we've seen this summer. Because if I'm being completely honest, the upper air temperatures we're seeing should deliver more. It's just the fact that it is transient. It doesn't allow those temperatures to rise th further. So it is, even though it's, I said only, we're going to reach 33 to 35, it is going to feel potentially hotter than that because of the humidity and the strength of heat within the air. It is going to be yeah, pretty horrible, uh, but for those who hate the heat, only lasting for one day before it does dissipate away into the uh, into the, uh, the rest of next week. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned. We'll have more updates over the next couple of days, trying to pinpoint those top temperatures. But I'll see you again for another video soon.